What's up, Terabytes? I'm Tara with Tara Simon Studios. And I'm Coach Jeremy. And I'm Coach Nikki. And today, in case you haven't guessed already, we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to sing harmony. This is really near and dear to my heart. I freaking love harmonies. I'm kind of a harmony junkie. In fact, fun fact, if I had a choice between singing lead and singing harmony, I would totally choose harmony. Me too. Yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. We all love harmony, okay? Yeah. It's super, super fun. Um, and there are some rules to harmony that we want you to follow, but we're gonna break it down for you a little bit in this video to show you uh, the differences in intervals and kind of talk about which one our particular ears go to and how you can find it. And, um, and we're gonna give you a couple examples of what like traditional harmony sound like and then something a little more fancy and Ooh. difficult slash dissonant. And we're gonna go into <laughs> what that means too. Yes. So what do you guys think about harmony? Um, I really, like she said, I love harmony because it really like punches up the song and it adds another element to it. To it. Um, and my, I typically gravitate towards the fifth, or not the top note, so okay. um, that's really what I'll go for when I'm about to sing a harmony or listening for stuff, but it just makes it so much fun. Well, we're going to make sure that you're not going to oh. sing the fifth then, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know, you shouldn't have. <laughs> what about you, Nikki? Oh, singing in the choir for like ever, like it really separates soprano, alto, tenor. So yep. I'm, if I'm going for alto, then I'm going there. If I'm going for soprano, like, or like if I'm stacking in the studio or mm -hmm. something, if we've done the main melody, then it's really easy to get to the high one and the low one, starting with the one in the middle. Mm -hmm. But I mean, who doesn't listen to the radio and do the Yeah, the yeah. Harmonies? Well, so some certain. people don't, and that's why we're here. A lot of you guys listen to the radio or your favorite songs, and you're like, I wish that I knew how to pick that out, right? Mm -hmm. And a lot of that does have to do with ear training, which we, we're going to do a lot more of that in other tutorials, because there's a lot when uh, talking about ear training and developing your inner ear and what you hear that is really beneficial towards picking out harmony notes. Absolutely. But um, like Nikki said, there's a melodic line, there's the main melody, and then there's there's the ones on on the bottom and on the top of that usually that are um, that are the go-tos. Okay, so we're gonna give you the go-tos right now. We're gonna go to an, an E O A. Okay, yeah. guys, and let's see. So Jeremy's definitely doing the first. <laughs> He's not doing the fifth. Um, I'll do the middle, and Nikki, why don't you do the top? Okay, the one that Jeremy wants that he's not getting. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> well, why don't we start here? Okay, and this is a one three five chord, guys. It's in root position for those of you guys who are musicians. I'm playing a G major chord right now, and um, it's it's gonna be one three five. But when I play them together, think about what you hear first, and without the octave bottom, just. You hear three notes in there, or you probably just hear a nice pretty chord, but there are three notes playing, and arpeggiated sounds like this. <laughs> Jeremy's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> no, no free singing. <laughs> uh, but it's a one, a three, and a five, right? Now, um, since we're in root position, technically the melody would be the one, okay? That Jeremy would be singing. The three would be, let's call it the alto line for now. Three, which is what I'm gonna sing, and then Nikki's gonna sing the five, which would be the soprano note in this yeah. case, okay? So we're gonna call tenor root, alto third, three, Nikki's five, okay? And it makes a nice, pretty one, three, five harmonic chord. So we're gonna do it on ooh, ah, ooh. We're gonna do, let's do straight tone the first two notes okay. and then vibrato on the last one so they can hear the difference between both. And the reason I'm gonna do some straight tone notes and some vibrato is this. It's easier for the ear to compute the, the three note harmonics with straight tone, but it's also really enjoyable for the ear to hear vibrato in context of harmony too. Now, we're all three separate people, obviously, right? And so my vibrato rate will be a little different than Nikki's, will be yep. a little different than Jeremy's. But I will say this, there are some times, and I'm not saying it's gonna happen here, I don't know, because we didn't practice this, but, <laughs> but there are times like with certain people I re react to, like pentatonics and groups like, um, 
Voctive and voice play where they're so well rehearsed that their vibrato undulation mm. matches up and that's like magical That's really really that cool. There's a lot with families too like that for some reason yes. families it locks up immediately. Yes, too. absolutely mm. Absolutely, so sometimes it's even hard to match vibrato with your own voice if you're in the studio stacking yes, You know yes, and, yeah. and so producers are like all impressed when you do that, <laughs> but that's that's a whole other tutorial actually So let's get down to it. Ooh, ah, ooh on G root chord um, and we're gonna pick it out. So you hear your notes? Yes, that's one and five. Ooh is the middle. Okay, so ooh ah ooh, straight tone, straight tone vibrato. Here we go. <laughs> Two. Ready? And. While you're listening to this to try to sing either with Jeremy or with Nikki or with me okay so Jeremy sing your notes okay so pick that note if you're gonna sing with Jeremy Nikki exactly so pick that five if you're gonna sing with Nikki and if you're gonna sing with me pick the third which is the, I think the hardest one is it's in the middle me okay so get that in your head here we go Jeremy Ooh, oh. okay here we go one two ready and time picking that out try to stop the video repeat it and see if you get better by repetition because that is one way to definitely improve harmonies training that ear to really hear the intervallic changes between the chord and as you move up in modulation as well so we're gonna take it a step further if you're doing well with this part if you've listened and sung and you can even by the way change like okay forget Jeremy now I'm gonna I'm gonna fly with Nikki over here or forget Nikki I'm gonna I'm gonna sing with Tara this time see if you can do all three that's awesome ear training right there to go between but if you can only handle doing one at a time then do this tutorial over and over and do it with only Nikki for a whole week and then go with Jeremy for a whole and so that you can hear and feel and get into your muscle memory the different intervals within that chord progression, okay? Yeah. Now, to take it a step further, amp it up a little bit, a little notchy notch, Ooh. we're gonna do dissonance, okay? <laughs> yes, dissonance! So this is where the, Nikki and Jeremy are gonna stay the same, and the third note is gonna go up and then back down. So I'm gonna create dissonance with my third note, and then I'm gonna resolve it on the third section. So like the, um, I'm gonna go, Let's, for instance, let's go down here. I'm gonna go ooh, ah, ooh. So I resolve on the third note, but I change to dissonance on the second, okay? And that, you're gonna hear in context of the chord, it's gonna kinda rub a little bit, mm -hmm. but in a good way, not in a pitchy, gross way, I promise. I can do it right and then um, and then it's gonna resolve and be lovely and your, your ear is gonna love it okay and this is kind of like just just a little amped up version you hear this a lot in choirs right yeah. um, or even in in acapella groups yeah um, and it's just it's a really nice it adds interest yeah. I would say right and then also like for those of you that are while you're listening to it while she's singing that note if you want to stick to my note or Nikki's note Really focus on that because it's going to be really, really that much more um, difficult to stick to that note while she's doing that dissonance. So, that's so a yeah. such good advice. It, I like to call it crunchy chords, mm -hmm. right? It's just like, yeah, super crunchy and then it resolves. So, yeah, that's really good advice too. Take that note and stick to it and see if you don't get led astray by my mm -hmm. dissonance, okay? So, let's start on that G chord again, root position. <laughs> and we're going to give you one for nothing that's not dissonant, and then when we modulate up, I'm gonna start with the dissonance, okay? Two, ready, and. Two more. 
so I'm a freak about dissonance. I love it. I love crunchy chords. But if that kind of freaked you out, then just forget we did it and do the first <laughs> one because harmonies can be something that are very frustrating because pitch is important all the time, right? Mm, yes. In every melody, but pitch is even more important when you're doing two or especially three part harmony because any one of us that are pitchy, it's like highlighted by the good pitch of the other right. person. Right. So it's like two magnifying glasses on your pitch versus right. just you out there with music. Okay, it's right. bad enough if you're off pitch with just music, but it's super emphasized and magnified yeah. when you're singing with people, right? Right, absolutely. Right. Yeah. yeah. And if you didn't know what to look for before, like what is dissonance, now you know what to look for right. when you're trying to do your harmonies. That Crunch yes. that she told you about, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. But it's an on pitch crunch, you know. It's it's a good crunch like granola, you know, not like <laughs> not like burnt toast crunch, right? Yes. Okay, there's a difference. Right. So <laughs> for, yeah, I'm hungry. It's lunchtime. So, you know. Okay guys, so if you found this video useful, make sure you comment in the box below and make sure you also comment in the box below what other tutorials you'd like us to do because we take our suggestions directly from there. Okay, we love you, we're proud of you. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button, click the notifications button, and we will see you guys on the next one. Bye! Bye.